Now we play a round called Trump around, Trump around, Trump up, Trump up and get down. <laughs> this game of all John and James, if you could make your way to the performance area, please. This round is a stand-up challenge. I launched a wheel of news and whoever chooses to stop, one of our performers must step forward and talk about that subject. OK, here we go. Let's spin the wheel. And the topic is home life. Who wants to come in that? So, uh, my girlfriend went away for four weeks to Australia and in the run-up to her going away, she was very concerned about how we'd cope. I... Sort of less worried about that. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, what I was mainly thinking in the run-up to my girlfriend going to Australia for four weeks was... Ray! <laughs> Down the pub! <laughs> That's a pint glass, by the way. <laughs> Turns out they've moved on. Their girlfriends aren't away. Their kids exist. <laughs> and my flat is now just turned into a blank, grief-walled cell of despair. Because <laughs> I see it without my girlfriend in it for the first time. And so my mind just begins to fill with all the everyday things that lose their magic without her. Because that's what I think love is. It's a domestic thing. <laughs> the other day, she was empty in the bin. And I knew it was going to split because she doesn't buy heavy-duty bin bags because she doesn't listen to me. <laughs> She's lifting out the bin, and I can see the main sort of bulk of the refuse is staying there. Meanwhile, the bag itself is just stretching, <laughs> getting clearer and clearer till it's little more than a shadow. And I think, well, that bag is going to split, but I can't tell her because I've learned. <laughs> I hear this shrill cry. It's a sound that I've not heard my girlfriend make before, because I'm not much in the bedroom. <laughs> And I thought, well, that bin bag split, hasn't it? Time to go and lighten the Atmos with a few choice quips about why we use heavy-duty bin bags. <laughs> John Robbins! <laughs> OK, that leaves us with James. Let's see what your topic is. Let's spin the wheel. And the topic is cinema. Where you go? Speaking of the cinema, Sarah Pascoe's an idiot. <laughs> Love going to the cinema. <laughs> My favourite film I ever saw at the cinema was the Eddie Redmayne classic, The Theory of Everything. Loved it. It should have been called Look Who's Hawking. That's my only criticism. <laughs> no, but it's perfect. <laughs> Worst part of going to the cinema is other people. Easily. <laughs> Sitting there. King of the Jerks is behind me. This really angry man. Had a go at me at one point because I was snacking. Get over yourself, Granddad. I'll do what I like. <laughs> In his defence, I was eating a big bag of fortune cookies. <laughs> Cracking them open, reading them out loud. It was disruptive. It was disruptive. <laughs> End of this film, man behind me goes, Ugh! That's two hours of my life I'm not getting back. I thought, oh, got some bad news for this guy. <laughs> Every hour of your life... <laughs> Now you're never getting back. They're gone forever. Time is not refundable. Death is the end. <laughs> and I know that because five minutes earlier, I'd read it in a fortune cookie. <laughs> Thank you very much, James A. Carter. James A. Carter.